Right. <clears throat> <laughs> three, you ready? Two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one. Hello. Hello. Good day, mate. Ahoy, my hearty. What you doing today? <laughs> Having a nice podcast time. Mm. Hello, fresh. <laughs> <laughs> we wish. <laughs> Detox kitchen. <laughs> Sponsor us. L'Oreal. Hello. <laughs> Don't spill that water. I won't. There's a, there's... Hello, Bessie. Hello, JJ. How are you today? Not very well. You're feeling a bit sad, aren't you? No, mm. I've got my sad cape on mm. to protect me from the harsh outside world. Mm. But I'm feeling a little vulnerable, oh. I have to say. I'm feeling a little bit bruised. I'm feeling like a grape who's had its skin peeled off. Oh. And now has been chucked down a big flight of stairs. What colour grape? Red. Oh, does it have a, does it have a seed in? Absolutely. Oh, I seed don't like sadness. Oh gosh, do you eat the seeds? I haven't eaten a grape in about five years, so I really? wouldn't know. I'm not a fruit person. I'm not a fruit eater. Or is it just that you're you're afraid of choking? Yes, mm. mostly that. I at 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 the nursery. Um, I had a workshop yesterday about the dangers of choking. Really? You know, it is the biggest killer. It definitely is the biggest killer. Maybe apart but for from children um, under eight. Yeah. Under eight, it's the biggest killer. Yeah, because of grapes. Of course. Yeah. So you be you cut them in half, mm. and you don't need that seed. I'll take that in mind. Thank Good. you, thank Good. you, Bessie. Um, do you know what else you shouldn't do? What you should not give a child a rice cake in a buggy. Why? Because they can choke, and okay. you don't realise because they're in the buggy. I've been feeding your children all rice cakes exactly. in buggies, so, so I'll stop. I'll stop that behaviour now. Yeah, I've learned that. Mm. So um, I'm sorry that you're feeling sad and vulnerable, but your vulnerability cape looks lovely. Thank you. Um, I'll take it off if I start to feel better. Mm, yeah. Maybe I'll do a half cold shoulder. Ooh. I can do a cold shoulder if I'm feeling Ooh. okay. And then a full shoulder if I'm not... Be- and then cold shoulder. But I'm That's not there good. yet. I'm not no. there yet. No, no, no. Do you know why I'm feeling a bit upset, Bessie? Tell me. People lie, don't they? People lie. I had an incredible audition last week. Mm. Incredible. I got a, a round of applause. I got a standing ovation after oh one my of my God. scenes. And I was only halfway through. They had to stop recording because they <laughs> started banging their hands together because they were so incredibly amazed by my performance of um, Space Vet. That's right. what the, the show, Space Vet, um, because she looks after animals in space. And yes, there were initially doubts that I wasn't quite right for the character because initially it was supposed to be a woman in her 50s, um, incredibly muscular and has a background in bodybuilding. Right. And the fact is... Uh, what's what's the job of an actress? What's the job of an actress? Hmm, let me think. Uh, versatility, versatility. Being able to try on many hats. Bodybuilding hat, space hat. And I walked into that room and they felt a blast of air coming through them because that's the shockwave I was creating. Did and you put on some fake muscles? I, I was wearing a goose suit underneath. You know, the old, um, the, the big goose. inflated, yeah, filled with goose feathers oh. um, to create a sort of muscular appearance. Yes. Right. Um, underneath. P- Peter wouldn't be happy about that, would they? No. Now you know I'm now, now a new ambassador for Peter. I've noticed, yeah. And I have a few issues with that. Okay, well, we'll we can talk about that later. Well, we'll get into it later. Um, and... It went incredibly well, and then I found out a few days ago that... Um, ago? Yeah. Ago? Ago. I found out a few days ago that I didn't get it. Um, they decided to go in the direction of somebody who is in their 40s and who is has a background in bodybuilding. With no goose feathers? No goose required, just full metal muscle. Mm. And then I found out that they lied. They haven't cast a woman in her 40s. Guess who they fucking cast? Who? Elle Fanning. Oh. I just didn't have enough of a profile. That's what they she, were lying. She's out to get you. She, she's still jealous. She's still feeling sore from the fact that I showed her up as, as I did. And now she's gone and taken space vet from me. And she's obviously been in the gym. Oh, I, I bumped into her on the street. And let me tell you, I thought it was a skyscraper. I thought I was going to bump into a skyscraper and it turns out it was Elle. Oh, so I'm, I'm feeling so a di- bit disappointed, Bessie. I'm feeling did humiliated. You really, really, did you think Space Vet was going to be your big break? I did. And the fact is, it's funny when you, you read something and then initially you sort of roll your eyes and you're like, oh, I'm not going to get this. But then the more that people give you positive validation, you do start to get really excited. I had already started planning all of my trips to the NASA space station. I, I got a lot of stationery. 
um, pencils, mm. notepads, etc., with little astronaut ships on them. Mm. I was really getting into the zone. I used Did you to make a little tin foil? I made a little tin foil hat. Mm. Um, and I even started being kinder to the animals around me. I stopped kicking pigeons. Did you start? Um, did you get out your old collection of Buzz Lightyear's? I did. I did. I said I, I spoke to each of them, put them in a row, and I rehearsed all of the lines back and forth with all of them. And they were incredibly helpful. Mm. You know, I have a thing for Buzz to infinity and beyond. Yes. So I'm feeling a bit sad and a bit low. I'm so um, sorry. And yeah, what can you know? You tell me something fun about your week to put me up, I think. Well, I don't have anything fun because you know I'm going undercover at the nursery at the yes, moment. Yes, I do know. It's a high high stakes operation. It is. It, I've been... Do you want to explain to I've our done, viewers? Well, I've done two weeks solid now working yeah. full time at a nursery. Yeah. Um, it's a Montessori nursery, which mm-hmm. I don't know what that means. Montessori method, right? right? Yeah, whatever that means. Isn't that just like know. throw kids in trees or whatever? I think it means the kids are geniuses, or, which is why I chose it. Yes, and they wear colourful clothes. Yes. And no shoes. And lots of them are called Monty. Yes, that's it. Nail on the head, you got it. Um, and so yeah. I've been working out to cover that because I realised after, you know, being a mother to 18 children, yeah. I realised that children are little ideas factories. They are. And you can steal it without them realising. They won't know. They're not going to know. They're, They're not, not trying to get a development there. deal, are Ooh, they? They're, they don't know what a patent is. No. There's and no intellectual property theft. And Sorry. do you know what they're best at? What? Is the elevator pitch. <gasps> Explain it to me. So an elevator pitch is where you have the the duration of a, a, an elevator journey. We call it lift in the UK. Okay. So they're going in a lift from, say, ground floor to to, to floor three, yeah. floor four, floor five maybe. Yeah. And you've got an, the duration of that lift journey to pitch your idea to the producer. Oh, do you mean an elevator pitch? Yes, that's what I just said. You said elevation. Bitch. What? You said elevation pitch. I said elevator. Thank you, said, you, JJ. You said elevate. Well, you said we, elevation. Can, we can rewind and we can watch that. Okay, you said we revelation. can fact check the elevator pitch. Yeah, JJ. And um, so yes, yeah, so you try and pitch your idea within that 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 lift journey. And by the time that exec gets out the lift, they're going to be like, yes, no green light, no green light, red light, if yeah, you will. Yeah. So. I've noticed that that preschool, between ages of three and four, they're particularly skilled at the elevator pitch. Yes. Because they have such short memories that they just get what they need to say out before they move on to the next batch of toys. Yes. And because their mind hasn't yet been clouded and weighed down with the sort of the five-year-old's, you know, daily struggles. Exactly. You they know, don't have an iPhone yet. Oh, I, I don't wear a nappy anymore. I'm going to have to use the toilet on my yeah. own. So they, Where's they, the next snack Their coming whole from? life revolves around making good sitcom ideas. And nobody's tapped into this market, no. have they? So you're one of the first. Thank you. And you, you probably should be keeping it on the hush-hush, your, um, your undercover PI operation. Yes, exactly. Well, these are all filmed five years ago, so people aren't going to know when they're watching it now, it's you true. know, that it's coming out. So that, And by then, I'll be like, you know, I'll, I'll be Sharon Hogan. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, with all my toddler ideas. Yeah. So any they, any ones that stick out in oh. particular? Any any ones that you're you're not going to make and therefore you can say because okay. you're just going to try Okay. Okay. Well, there was the one that came very close. Really? Yeah. It was called Cheetah Diaries. Oh, okay. And it turns out that this toddler has realized that her father is cheating on her mother. Oh. And she's kind of I only realized because she was obsessed with little cheetah toy figurines. And I I I, I thought oh that's interesting that she's lining up the cheetahs. She's kind of thrown away all the other animals. Mm. And she just got this long line of cheetahs, cheetah figurines. And I said to her, oh, do you, is your favorite animal a cheetah? Why do you like cheetahs? And she was like, oh, daddy, daddy, daddy. And just kept repeating daddy. And obviously I've just put two and two together. And, I, and, then, I, and then I did see the dad at pickup. And, and, and did you confront him? I, I, I didn't confront him, but all I had to see is how absolutely flirtatious he was with me. To know, he's a, he thinks it's he- That's all it takes. Yeah. So that was great because I realized, oh, it's going to be fun. We're going to go, we're going to analyze the the toddler's diary entries um, about what she's spying on her parents. You know, uh, she thinks, they think she's in bed. She's not in bed. Mm-hmm. She's watching them have a really intense discussion about their relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, but I realized that um, it's not really that. Like it's not ethical. Yes, it, because potentially it, there could be some grey area. Exactly, there, I imagine. Because what if the parents get back together? And I don't want to. I don't want to ruin that girl's kind of dreams of you know, uh, mummy and daddy together and stuff like that. But that was quite exciting for a bit. 
What I, a fascinating project! Yeah, Jessie. it's great, and I, I really am learning a lot. Like in the in especially like I think there is a sitcom to be made about washing hands. Really, just because so much comedy goals happens there. Oh, the kids go are on. kind of lay it on me. Well, that that they they that they, they they're, they're kind of messing up with the soap. They're slipping on the soap. They're singing a song as they wash their hands. Yeah. There's danger, there's jeopardy. Like if they don't wash their hands for a full happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, they're not gonna get the hands clean. Like there's oh. a lot, there's a lot I mean, to explore. I mean, it fits into the classic three act structure. Wow, mm-hmm. there we yeah. go, pitch done. So it's exhausting because also the nurseries had norovirus this week. So I've I've seen too much shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, a lot of shit. It's been a bit of uh, warfare, yeah. hasn't it? And parents, they, they lie mm. when you say, has your kid got a temperature? Has their kid, is their kid okay? Yeah. You know, are, are they okay today? You know, are they, are they, is everything okay down there? And they're like, yeah, yeah, I've got to go to work. They, they don't realize that norovirus is very contagious. Yes. And um, yeah, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> it's not been a good week for me. No. It's not been a great week. But I have got a couple of good ideas that I think are going to be gems. Well, I'm so happy for you, Bessie, because you, you've, you've been waiting for a bit of a, a breakthrough, haven't you? You've been and you know a bit I'm of a, a good, slump. You know, I love working with children. You, you love, love working, with working with children. You love minding their ideas. Mm. And the fact is, that's how you get by in this world. And that's mm. what we're constantly trying to educate our listeners and our viewers, is that you're not going to make it if you don't steal somebody's ideas. Every, every idea is stolen. Who, who, who the, the people that you respect the most in the world, you think that they didn't steal a few ideas in their time. But... The ethical and right way to do it is steal it from people who won't even remember what that idea was in five minutes' time. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure Steven Spielberg, you know, I'm pretty sure. We've seen him, we've had suspicions that we've seen him, you know, ducking in undercover with a wig on occasionally at uh, a nursery or a playtime here and there. Yeah. At a rhyme time. He's he's been at a few Edinburgh Frick festivals. At the kids' shows. Yeah. Yeah, in one of the circus tents. Don't worry, Stevie, we're on to you. And, you know, but we still love you. So just, just to let you know that. Some of your favorite people and some of your favorite artists are engaging in this, and it's probably about time that we start this conversation. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, um, I've been, we've been, I've tried to, I, I'm, 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 I'm trying to broach the idea. Is that the right phrase? Yes. Broach? Yes. Broach the idea of, um, you know, some s- some dates. I, I want to start dating. You yes. know. So I've been, I've been looking at a few apps. I, I don't want like a normal app. Mm. I want like a like a bit of a cra- like a, just a bit of a fun app. So yeah. I'm trying to find men that are just interested in something kind of wacky and fun, yeah. you know. Yeah. But I don't know how to do it. So you're going to have to help me. Okay. Well, let's think of some apps that you could probably use. I mean, it doesn't have to be the traditional dating app. Okay. Do you think it's like circus performer apps potentially? Because I would love to go out with a trapeze artist. I think that your best lover, in terms of the entertainment industries as a whole, if we were going to rank. It's got to be clown. It's mm. got to be a juggler. Somebody who can juggle is going to be able to make love to you in a way that you've probably never experienced before. And ideally not English. Hopefully just like, not. I, just, I, w- I would like to not be able to speak. Yes, maybe taking out one form of communication means that you're going to be so much more intoxicated by the other forms of communication, i.e. fingering. Yeah, I just don't want any speaking, no kissing. Yes. And ideally just like very simple, transactional, like physical yeah stuff is this why you're dressing like a clown today because you're trying to attract a clown man no well i do think that this would be a good outfit <laughs> in the future if you're trying to consider that because the fact is now that you've got me thinking about it i'm surprised that we don't have more sort of uh like water spray bow tie guns and you know juggling balls and potentially like a flaming javelin involved in love making i do think that it would add an interesting Just, sort of why do what you how great would that be? I would love to get a cream pie to the face just as I'm, you know, like what are, in are the you... throes of passion. Why aren't we talking about that? Like, again, let's bring Why aren't open we on that a trampoline? conversation. Why are we not on a trampoline right now? All the time. Why you know? are we on trampolines all the time? I bet that you would find that in the clown karma sutra. Mm. Yeah, so, like, you know, Samantha in Sex and City, she, 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 had, she had a thing with a swing. Yes. You know, like, but there could be, like, some really fun stuff going on with slides. With um, sort of, like, f- like honking Fire. sounds. Imagine the soundboard oh, that yeah. he would bring along, the clown man. Mm. He'd be making all the sound effects. You'd get, like, a wee woo wee woo You know, like, a doctor has, like, a doctor's case of instruments. Yes. Maybe a clown has, like, a case for yeah. romance. Yes. And his and his performing his performing toys, I bet they turn into a different type type of toy overnight. Yes, that spinning bow tie. I mean, and what imagine, can that do? And imagine like if they if they only communicated via mind. Yes, and 
the the like the contraptions in his clown case. Yeah. That would be just so interesting. And he keeps his shoes on. You oh, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. no matter what, you're keeping the big clown no, shoes on. No, but I I reckon you only become a clown if you actually do have clown feet. Yeah. Oh, these men have the giantest feet. <laughs> you know what they say about giant clown shoes, mm. giant clown dick. Yeah. Um, so it's funny that good. you bring up doctors, actually, because I was going to mention this to you, because you know I've been on the quest recently to mm. find my new doctor. Um, so just to let you in. Uh, it's I've a little been, hobby for you, isn't it's it? It's a little bit of a hobby for me. And the fact is I have a very strong, intuitive, emotional sense. I read things. I feel things deeply. I'm a water sign. And the fact is, for a long time now, probably since I was around 11 or 12 years old and I first saw him on the television, I have known that my doctor was always meant to be Dr. Christian. Mm. From um, embarrassing bodies. From embarrassing bodies, and I just had this connection with him over the TV screen. And I've re- I've recently been moving um, boroughs in London quite frequently um, to you know to to much financial loss, but in the hopes that eventually I will be re- united with my GP to be. And you'll never guess who uh, walked into the surgery the other day as I was waiting for my first appointment at my new GP's. Hey. Dr. Christian. No way. I finally found him. He's did my you, GP. Did He's you my hug, GP. Did you hug him? He didn't accept hugs, but he did give me a really lovely wave. Incredible wrist motion, really strong. Was he had, did he have a doctor's case? Yes, he had a doctor's case. He had the white coat. He had everything. Did he have a stethoscope? He had a stethoscope around his neck. Oh my God. So, and... You know, doctors just wear them as necklaces, really. They do. It's just, it's, it's all about performance. It's, it's all access- a, it's, they need accessories too. It's all a mating game you, when I'm you get sure to the GP surgery. I'm sure they'll accessories one day. Mm. He was absolutely lovely. I didn't let him in on how avidly I've been searching for him. No, because that would be worrying. Because I wouldn't want to freak him out. We're just getting to know each other. And as he examined my body for my full body checkup... Um, I felt electricity between the two of us. Oh, that's so good. I do feel like you guys are meant to be. I think that Have we Have you done a star are. sign chart? No, I haven't yet. And that's next. That's next on my list. You've got to pay extra for that. You I will. Do the, do you pay for that one? Yeah, I'll get the one that costs nine ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. And his hair in real life, it looks like it's been painted on. Mm. It is thick, it is luscious, and it's so still. Mm. You know how most people, their hair moves around. His hot as a rock. And I, I bet that's not the only thing about him. Glue. Potentially. I've heard men do that. And it's amazing the way that he's able to balance his um his 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 GP duties with his TV work. I just and his sexuality and his se- and his sexuality. <laughs> it's incredible. I just um, I'm so he, happy for you. Is he gay? I don't know. I don't know. I should ask next yeah, time I go ask. in. Yeah, and you need to also ask his birth time. Definitely, I'll ask his birth time. I'm sure he won't be weirded <laughs> out by that, but. The thing is, that's that's my silver lining to what's been a difficult I'm week, sorry. Bessie. Um, I finally now found my man. And now um, you're my definitely going to have norovirus because of me. I'm so sorry. Mm. I've probably given it to Dr. Christian too. Oh, God. Well, imagine. He's probably skilled at handling norovirus. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I bet that he <laughs> flushes that out of his system within one day. Um, he just seemed incredibly strong and masculine and caring. And that's the sort of presence I need in my life right that's now. That's what you want. If I could pop a clown shoe on him, he'd be the perfect man. Oh, imagine. Right. I've got to go now. I've got to go back to nursery for the uh, for, the, for the afternoon sesh. Yeah. And you got to, you got to, you got to find a way of taking off your sadness cape, haven't you? I do. I do. What are I, you going to do to pick yourself up? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off my sideburns. Oh, yeah. You've been meaning to do that for a while. Yeah. No, hang on. We said that we weren't going to do this anymore. I think that this is what I'm going to do today. This is what's going to poke me up. Um, <laughs> so I, the old wives tell that when you cut off your sideburns, they grow back thicker. Who knew it was actually true? I because think Because I've got, I, I'm halfway to a mutton chop currently and I'm feeling very uncomfortable about it. But it is fun <laughs> because I can twizzle them and then they can turn into little devil horns on the side of my face. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. See? So potentially this could be my new look for 2023. This could be the sound of the summer. <laughs> Or I cut them off now when I make myself feel good. I think you need to stop cutting for some I also thought I might bleach my eyebrows. Don't do that. I Don't do that. I was thinking a potential bleach might might perk, perk my little socks but right up. But what if the bleach goes into your eye? But then I guess I'm going to have lovely, eye sexy blindness. bleached eyes. No. Right, we need to go. Okay. Thank you very much for listening, everybody. Thank um, you. Um, tune in for next week's Showbiz Sisters. If you want to see JJ cutting my hair, you can do so on patreon.com slash you can find it. <laughs> Lots of love. Love you. Bonsoir. Stay safe. Bisous, bisous. Ad- Bye. <laughs>